Hello, I am Gonzalo Herrero, architect and architecture program curator at the Royal Academy of Arts. And the object I've chosen for 30 objects in 30 days organized by the London Festival of Architecture is the London Brick. The London Stock Brick, also known as Platon, it is perhaps one of the more recognizable building materials across London and the UK. Its use can be traced back to the Roman times. However, it was in the Georgian period in the late 19th century that the design of the London Brick, as we recognize it today, started being mass produced to meet the increasing needs for building houses, factories, and other kind of buildings. The brick has also been a common object representing working class and used in street demonstrations all over the world. For example, it was during these years in the late 19th century that many militant suffragettes used bricks to carry out extensive window breaking raids across London. It was after the Second World War in the 1950s and 60s when the popularity of the brick was at its peak. Following the war, many immigrants uh, started a new life in this country, working in brick factories, producing thousands and thousands of bricks to rebuild the nation. Today, the London brick is a design icon. You can find its recognizable shape now turned into soap bars, vases, and every kind of decorative items. Even British designer Tom Dixon created in 2014 a product collection inspired by this iconic brick. From providing an opportunity to many people after the difficult year following the war to empowering protesters on the streets to claim for their rights, the yellowish uh, stock brick enjoys today, I'd say, a position of veneration in the London cityscape. A humble object that had not only defined the face of the city, uh, but also to some extent also built the foundations of today's social democracy.